This is an iron hoe. You just uh, right click it. Yay, it's boring. But in this video, we made it interesting where we're going to go and combine all these hoes together in order for us to make this a hoe squared. Uh, I really wonder what this does. Oh, oh my God. Pause. This is Minecraft, but there are custom hoes. In today's video, I've added a bunch of hoes that will have their own unique features. And trust me, there will be a lot of hoes throughout this video. Will I be able to beat the game while using the weirdest hoes? Watch to find out. Also, be sure to check if you're subscribed and like the video, because according to YouTube statistics, you most likely aren't. Enjoy the video, and I hope you have a great day. Three, two, one. It's hoe time. But before hoe time, we gotta do a bunch of other times in order for us to get hoe time. Hoe time is soon, but we need to progress as a lad that will get various items in order for us to kill the dragon. All right, let's go and get more wood here. We're just gonna be doing our standard deeds and make tools in order for us to get closer to the hoes. Actually, in fact, we could probably go and make the hoe right now. Yay, I did the thing that we're supposed to do for the video. Yay. Oh, well, obviously this is not the type of hoe that we're going to be using. Not just the normal hoe that we can make in normal Minecraft. We're going to have custom hoes. So uh, yeah, this is this is not what we're going for today. We're going to add a little spice, a little salt and pepper. We're going to spice things up here. But let's just go and get like stone tools or something. So let's just do a stone moment. Also, I see some iron. Maybe we could do an iron moment as well. All right, we're going to go and make a furnace right here so we can go and make some iron. And we're going to go smelt the iron because we want iron ingots. You know, speaking of furnaces, we could actually use a furnace in order for us to go and make our very first hoe craft. And that's going to be very nice. Maybe we should probably go and get a few more stones to make some more furnaces, possibly, eh? All right, we'll go for more stone. Let's do this. All right, I mined a whole stack of stone. And you might be wondering... Why does he have the stone for? Why a stack? It's because we're going to go and make a lot of furni. Eight furni. And using the furni, we could go and make a hoe. In fact, we could probably use this hoe right here that we made from earlier. So uh, let's just use it. All right, this is going to be really weird. And it's incredibly unorthodox. But I'm going to do it anyways. Let's just go and do this. We are going to put the furni in a circle like this. And then we're going to have the hoe in the middle for this custom hoe. <laughs> Um, we have a, an upgrader hoe. You might be wondering, oh, what does upgrade? This. <laughs> oh, nice. It literally just upgrades ores, dude. Instead of just having like, oh, the base ore that you would normally see in a cave, you could just go and right click it to do that. And then we could just go and extract it and get a bunch of iron ingots. Let's get more here. And I'm left with like six iron blocks. This is really good. Uh oh, it's nighttime. Oh gosh, mobs are gonna spawn. You know what's a good idea? Probably go and make full iron. This is like from one iron vein. This is actually really good. All right, let's go and make like other iron tools. We could go and make a lot more buckets or whatever. We just have more iron in general for us to use to make good things. And most definitely, we don't even need to use like a furnace anymore to like smelt because we could upgrade any ore that we find underground. Oh yeah, and one more thing. It's not just ores that we could upgrade. Here, let's go and place these planks, for example. Bah, 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 bah. If I just need a little bit more wood i could just go like bang log 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 i could upgrade the wood and then extract it it's like infinite wood nice i really don't like how it's nighttime because i need food and also uh you're spawning i should probably like find like some sheep for me to go and make a bed for here i'm gonna use the iron for shears sheep help me i need your wool please i need to make a bed i need to sleep so we could get these lads away from me it's past my bedtime and i sleep Oh, that was good. Okay. That concludes the first day. All right. That was nice. <gasps> yes. We got a village with villagers and you. Hey, you. Oh, yes. Hay bales. I really need like food and hay bales is a great source of food. But let me tell you what. Hay bales are actually going to be a different source of food than just like making bread from the hay bales directly. There's actually another way for us to use the hay bales for food. So, uh... We could go and do this real quick. So what we're going to do is extract a bunch of hables right here. And then we're going to go and make a new hoe. I guess we could use an iron hoe, for example. And then we could go and just make this. Bah, a bread hoe. Alternatively, we could just call it a, a, a bro. Hey, bro. Oh, I'm really hungry. We should probably use the bread hoe, aka the bro. Bro. 
Bro, this is our source of food. Bang, bang, bang. Ba, ba. All right, I have just 10 bread. Easy peasy. I could essentially find any grass block and I could go and right click it to just get food. Every single one of these grass blocks that I'm seeing right here on my screen is potential to eat. DoorDash got nothing on me. No Uber Eats. Nothing. Oh, there's also stuff in the blacksmith. Thank you. Here, let's go farm some bread. So we'll just secure ourselves for food for the rest of, I guess, the challenge. Yeah, it's bread time. Oh, I'm at a full stack of bread already, and uh, it kind of just made it a weird trail on the plains. If you think about it, I did add a little bit of spice to the plane, so uh, it's a nice aesthetic. You know, I just realized, I think a great way for us to go and get really stacked really quickly is by using our upgrader hoe that we had from earlier and actually just go mine for a bit underground because we could upgrade not only iron and coal, but also gold and diamonds. And that's going to be really, really good. If we find like one vein of diamonds, I'm pretty confident that we could probably just get full diamond from it and that's gonna be great no i'm just gonna break the first rule of minecraft i'm gonna go dig straight down i'm rolling the dice wish me luck Ooh, upgrade wait is this a cave it's a mine shaft what okay well let's see what's over here wait i hear lava around this area wait we're at like lava level now <gasps> oh things uh what's over here what is that Huh? oh gosh new 1.17 items i'm so confused what that is is this copper this is copper isn't it Oh, it is copper. Well, now we have copper. This is the first time I've ever had copper in any of these Minecraft butt videos. So uh, this is a first. Dude, copper looks like polished bricks. Nice, I, I guess. All right, where's the diamonds? I want to see where the diamonds are at. Oh, it's lapis. Yes, we could go and make lapis blocks from this. Come on, is there any diamonds around, please? What? Huh? It's diamonds, but different. It's like the 1.17 diamond version. Oh, okay. Can I upgrade you? Yes, I can. Yes. That is a block of diamond. And you too. All right. Is there anyone else? Yes, there is. Oh my gosh. This is a lot. Wait, I kind of want to just mine around. Oh my God. There's more. I'm going to mine around the deep slate to see how many diamonds we actually have. Wait, is it an eight vein? I think it's an eight vein. Bruh. Spoiler alert. This is a lot of diamonds. Oh boy. All right, let's go take these diamonds. Holy crap. Oh, we're going to have eight diamond blocks. This is really good for us. Whew. All right. Nice. We got eight diamond blocks, which equivalates to, uh, oh my gosh, over a stack of diamonds. Diamonds. We're going big money mode now, huh? And the crazy part is, is actually, uh, we could use these diamonds to make a hoe. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let me show you this custom hoe that we have here today. Let's just first just flex on everyone by using a diamond hoe. And then we're going to go and wrap the hoe around with diamonds, which in turns makes this the diamond diamond hoe. All right. <laughs> What? You might be wondering, oh, what do you do with the diamond diamond hoe? Well, we're probably going to have to go and, and, and see some grass for us to go and like till the dirt with. Um, Let's go back to the surface, shall we? We've done our deeds underground. Let's go back up now. All right, we're on the surface. Yes. Also, it's uh nighttime. Sleep is good. Sleep is good. All right, good morning. I think it's a good time for us to use uh, this item right here. Diamond diamond hoe mode in three, two, one, diamond. Oh, there's even more diamonds. The eight vein in turn makes more of these. It's uh nice. All right, we have like over a stack of diamonds and we could basically make as many diamonds as we want. Let's just go and make our full diamond now and just be very stacked with our three awesome hoes. This, this is better. Now that we're full diamond, I think another commodity would be nice. Let's make our armor shiny okay let's go and make another hoe i'm gonna hoe in the middle and we're gonna use our lapis that we found from earlier we're gonna go and make this an enchant hoe a he ho wait a minute i think i just enchanted something i think i just enchanted another thing my boots are enchanted and my shovel is also enchanted with efficiency one wait a minute i think we could just huh ah! My tools are all enchanted and my, my arm is fully enchanted as well. We could just keep going with this. Let's do an enchanting moment. La da 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 enchant moment. So much enchanting. Ooh, I've uh I've done some off camera tilling and uh there's a lot of tilled blocks here. Oh boy. Man, I went hard on the farmville. Anyways, let's just go and see what we have as our enchantments. Oh. 
Our shovels, uh, at efficiency seven. Ah, yes. Efficiency five. Pickaxe with fortune five. Silk touch three, by the way. The axe is also kind of like the same as well with sharpness four. And you get the idea with our, uh, our armor. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think the farming simulator is going a little bit crazy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait. Those are a lot of squids and a lot of potential for ink sacks. Oh, gosh. This, this frost walker's in the way. Hold on. Let me just break through here. Hey, yo. Free ink, please. I need this ink for my printer. Sorry, guys. I have to do what I have to do. But if I'm being honest, I actually don't own a printer. I'm going to use it for a hoe instead. Let us go and make another hoe. Bang. Oh, time. And now with the magic of torches and also our ink sacks, we could go and make the next custom item. We're going to put the torches in this direction and we're going to also use the ink sacks because we could go and make this. Ah, the glow ho. Nothing says more about 1.17 than just you. The glow squid. <laughs> yeah, this is the glow ho. At least things are bright now. And I'm probably going to be less scared of the nighttime because this is going to help us, you know, uh, see. Wait, wait, where are you guys going? Hey, no, guys, come back, please. Guys, come on. Whatever. I'm actually going to throw this hoe away. Anyways, let's just segue to the other hoe that I want to show you as well. For the three people that is watching this right now and thinking, oh, maybe you should put the hose in a three by three in the crafting grid. Let's do it. All right, we're making a lot more hoes here. And the reason is because we are going to go and make a weird type of hoe, which is this one. As you could see, all of the diamond hoes are just filling the crafting table here because we could go and make this. The hoe squared. Oh, yeah, that's very helpful. Let's just till everything, even though there's like a lack of water. Oh, it reminds me of California. Anyways, um, let's just go and I guess hold this hoe for later. We could probably use it for other goods such as that. Yeah, I completely forgot to mention that uh, if I just go and right click any block that isn't grass, this happens. That, that, that that's what happens. <laughs> what is this house? Oh, I did you dirty. I'm so sorry. How about this? Oh, yeah. There, okay, even more. Cool. We've made this village pretty cursed now. So this is what we accomplished today so far, huh? We've kind of messed up the village, became really stacked with shiny armor. And also, we have a bunch of hoes. Yeah, this is starting to look like a tapple video. Aw, oh, yeah. But with that said, there's actually more hoes for us to go and make. And in order for us to go and make this hoe, we actually need, like, more stuff to go and make armor with. Because we need a lot of armor for this one. Let's just go and get some more diamonds here. Here we go. This is gonna be nice, by the way. And then we go and make a bunch of diamonds. Ooh, that is over a stack once more. And we use these diamonds to go and make, I guess, a bunch of chest plates, I suppose. Let's put the diamond hoe in the middle. This is another custom hoe that's added into this game bang the the healthy hoe ah yes we love a very healthy hoe also side note i hope this video is not demonetized anyways that that is a healthy hoe wait let me do a test real quick i'm gonna do a 360 onto the floor ow and uh i guess this is what the healthy hoe does it just healthed me up bang 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 these hearts right here, they're representing me getting healed. And that's nice. Wait, I could literally just take so much damage and then be fine afterwards. Wait, let's test it out on the Iron Man real quick. Iron Man! Hi, Iron Man. Ow. Ow. That that hurts. Wait, I have thorns. Wait, you're taking so much damage. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's a first. Also, I'm just gonna go and heal. Yeah, the Iron Man literally just did nothing to me, so rip now there's a few more hoes that i want to show you guys but um we have to go and enter the uh, underground once more we need to go into like a cave or something because we need to find the final ores for us to go and make these hoes also there's a lot of things going on down there but i think before we go and enter the caves we should probably like enchant our gear to the point where i could instantly break everything and just giga drill through all of the stone so we're gonna use our enchant hoe and just do this a little bit more. Let's do an enchanting moment. V2. Booba. All right. It's some off camera tilling. And uh, let's just say I uh, upgraded the pickaxe a bit. And also the uh, shovel. It's time. Oh my God. We're going really fast. Oh, oh boy. Hello. Oh, we're back here. Huh. Wait, there's redstone right here. Let's just go and take this. Let's first use our upgrade hoe and just right click. 
Nice. This is helpful. Oh, we got a bunch of red. So now we need uh gold. We're going to be using gold because we also need gold for a custom craft of a hoe. Let's go find some gold real quick. Any gold, please? Any? Any gold? Any gold? Huh. Hey. Oh, 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 oh boy. Okay. Um. <gasps> oh, it's gold. Yes. Ooh. Hello, gold. Oh boy. Hi. Let's go and upgrade you. All right. Let's go and take our gold. Hi. Okay, bye. All right, I'm out of this joint. I got what I needed. I got my redstone. I got my gold. These are the ingredients for the custom crafts that we're about to go and make soon. But it's time for us to go back up to the surface because we're done here. And we're here. Hello, surface. Hey, this is it. We could go and make our final hose in this area right here before we go and enter the nether, before we get the resources from the nether, before we travel to the stronghold, and before we go and kill the dragon. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go and make two golden hoes first. Bang, bang. And then I'm going to go and make this gold ring right here. Put the gold hoe in the middle for us to go and make a golden, golden hoe. And you could say this is the diamond, diamond hoes, like brother or something, because uh, that's that's what happens. Oh, yeah. We get a lot of gold. This is going to be really good for the bastion, considering that 1.17 pearl rates are absolutely abhorrent so we'll just go and take a bunch of this real quick oh my gosh this is like a great way for us to go and get so much gold oh my gosh getting this stack of gold was really fast so uh that was pretty nice now the next one involves a lot of wood because we needed to go and make a bunch of chests luckily we have a really fast axe so we could just go like brr, brr. that was really quick we'll just go and get a bunch of wood real quick here we go all right, I got my full stack of logs. This is really nice. All right, it's time for us to just go and make a bunch of chests right here. Bah. Actually, I just realized we don't need to make this much wood. We could just go and use like four chests. <laughs> and we need like four redstone dust. Bah. Because we're going to go and make this. The randomizer hoe. This is going to look like a King Tong video. A random item that spawns every time you just go and right click and till the grass. There's just a random item in here. A coarse fruit, leather tunic, polished diorite. I'm very interested to know if we could get an OP item in one of these. Hold on. Can we get something nice? Oh, Enderman spawn egg. We could technically get like our blaze rods in here too, can't we? It'll probably take so long. So we're probably going to go to the nether anyways, but that's pretty cool, I guess. Wait. Is that netherite leggings? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I've been trying to get something nice from one of these randomizer, and uh, yeah, it actually is very difficult to get like OP items considering that you'll just get stuff like, oh, I don't know, a mossy cobblestone slab. Oh, yes, very important. Or maybe pink stained glass paint, you know? How about that? Or, or a copper ore and a leaf. Yeah, this took a bit just to get like some netherite. So uh, that, that was pretty cool. At least I look fancy. Hey, though. I think so far throughout this video, I've made like, uh, I don't know, nine hoes in total. But there's actually one last hoe that we could go and make. That would essentially be like the cherry on top. Let's collect some sand. We're going to have to get water bottles. Ooh, the sand moment is very satisfying. Ooh. Now we're going to use a furnace real quick because we are going to go and get some glass for us to go and make the water bottle. So we're just going to wait for a bit. <laughs> Is the furnace done? Almost done. Okay, we got 31 glass and we could just go and make a bunch of bottles. We got 30 glass bottles. But luckily, we don't need this much. So uh, let's just go and uh, take a few here. And now we could go and make the final hoe. Let's use a stone hoe for this one. Oh, uh, yeah. And now we could go and complete all of our hoe crafts with the affecting hoe. If this is the healthy hoe, bah, then this is the affecting hoe. Bang. Ugh. Um, I have an effect. I have water breathing. This home may or may not give us random potion effects. What if I just spam it? Oh, this is not good for your health. Oh, is this needed for the end fight? Debatable. But on the real though, we are now ready. All right, we should probably find like the nearest lava patch or whatever. And we're just going to go and use lava for us to go and make a nether portal. Let's do this. And by the way, lava is usually underground. So uh, we're going underground. We're here. We're at Y11. Any lava? Hmm. Oh, that was uh, really quick. We found some lava. Okay. All right. Let's go and make a portal. All right. Let's go and do a speedrunner portal right here. There you go. Nice. Now, instead of using flint and steel, we're actually going to go and use like wood blocks right here in order for us to go and light the portal. Oh, the fire's burning. Oh, the fire's burning. Oh, it worked. All right. Let's enter. 
it's time for us to go and enter the nether and get our resources. Oh boy. Here we are. I'm running around the nether with confidence because I would be happy to see a bastion and use all of my gold blocks for us to go and get a bunch of pearls. Not only that, but pigs also drop string, which allows us to go and get our bow for us to go and shoot the dragon later. Mm, come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Finally, a bastion. Oh my gosh. Let's go up. Let's go, 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 go. Here we go. Hello, Bastion. Any traitors? Oh, there's plenty of traitors and a brute. Okay, we gotta be very, very careful here. I do not want to get slammed by a brute. That would be not good at all. Okay, actually, plenty of these guys don't like us. Oh, boy. Considering that this is a bridge, Bastion. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh. So much is happening. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, we gotta be so careful here. Oh, we gotta kill these brutes real quick. Get out of here, brutes. Please enter the hole, everyone. Please enter the hole. I think they're mad at me because of the thorns. It's actually killing them. You're dying from my thorns, you dunce. Okay, well, uh, that was very chaotic. At least we're gonna go and hopefully find some pearls. Yes, from these guys. Yeah. Oh, we got some spectral arrows for us. We could actually use these spectral arrows against the dragon. And that's gonna be nice. Oh, I got some string as well. We could go and make our bow now. That's nice. Oh, we got pearls. We got a lot of pearls now. Nice. We got nine pearls. Oh, yes. More pearls. Oh, yes. More pearls. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Oh, that's what it looks like to use a whole stack of gold and trade it with the piglins. Oh, boy. Dude, I'm out of this place. Holy moly. We got what? So after using a whole stack of gold, we only got 25 pearls, dude. I mean, sure, we got a lot of arrows and we got a lot of obsidian for us to go and get out of here. But still, only 25 pearls. What? Oh. Oh, this makes me happy. This is a fortress. <laughs> It's next to the bastion. This is actually really good. Yes! This is actually one of the most convenient fortresses that we've had so far. Oh, yes. There's a spawner. Okay. This is where we're going to get a lot of our blaze rods. Right here. Hello. Bang. Bang. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. I'll get one more and then we're going to leave. I'm literally just going to go and make the portal right now. Here we go. There's the portal. Hello, blazes. Give me one more. I just want one more rod. Thank you. Okay, we have eight rods. Let's go. Light the portal up. Oh, yes. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Oh, uh, we're, we're in a desert and we're thousands of blocks away from where we started. Okay, well, that worked. <laughs> Let's go to the stronghold now. Let's go. Oh, it's over here. Yes, it goes backwards. It goes backwards. Finally. Oh, it broke. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just go and... Uh... Oh, my God. Wait. It's literally right there. It's literally right there. Yes. Okay. It's time for us to go and enter the stronghold now. Let's mine all the way down. God, that was so quick. Yeah, that was a bit easy. Hey, stronghold. All right, let's go find this portal, shall we? Oh, <laughs> it's right here. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's perfect. All right. Well, that's done. Before I go and enter the portal, though, let's uh use our hose. Because the nice thing about hose squared is that we could actually just go and right click this block. It turns into grass. And since we could make grass, this will make it interesting because we could actually use the grass to maybe get some like potion effects, but we could also go and heal ourselves. And to top it all off, we could go and enchant. Speaking of enchantments, we should probably go and make a bow and do this 500 IQ play where after making our bow, we should just go ham with this enchantment hoe in order for us to go and get an overpowered bow. And that's going to be nice. All right, I've made my bow. Now that we have our bow, we could go and just enchant it a bunch. And now we get power. Let's go enchant it a bunch. Oh, it's starting. Good things are happening with this bow. Okay. I, uh, I did my enchanting moment on the bow. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> we have power 30 with flame 32, infinity 19, and unbreaking 31. This is a good bow. All right. It looks like we're ready, though. I think it's time for us to finally fight this dragon. All right. We're going to do this in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, oh, we're here. Let's throw a pearl. Let's get ready 
Here we go. All right, first things first, I'm just gonna go into... Oh my God. Oh boy. I'm just gonna put grass everywhere first just to lay it out so we could go and heal it whenever we want to and also get potion effects if we want to. All right, let's go and shoot these crystals. That's two right there. That was really good. That's another one. Very nice. Got the cage. Got the other cage. Very good. Woo! Yes! Nice. Come on! Yes! I think that's the final one. That is the final pillar. Now we shoot the dragon! It's marching. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Get ready! Oh! Owie! Thor's power! What is this? Oh my god, I need to heal. Oh, so much damage, dragon! <laughs> 360 no scope. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What was that? That's my hoe! Let's go! Oh. Well then. Yeah, that, that that's how you kill the dragon with hoes. Anyways, let's just go and get this egg. <laughs> Mission success. Let's go and break this. We got the egg. Go in. There we go. And that is how you play farm villain Minecraft. But awesome. But yeah, that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.